I needed something special. I needed some fresh inspiration. But moreover, I needed something to help me facilitate a major career change. This is the epic build of the Zeor Misa X2 Flex Studio Desk. But first, I have to get rid of my old desk. This next part of the video, we've moved outside because I've got all my uh, boards and stuff here. But if you look in the distance, we have a studio guinea pig. Funny little things. Unloaded, unboxed. Now cleverly, they've labeled every part with a detailed manual so we can put it together in order. Now I could be sensible and follow the instructions or I could be a man, couldn't I? So this is fun, the uh, the desk so far, as per the instructions, we've attached one side, this is the bottom of the desk, that's gonna be the top end. Now we've gotta put the top on, but you might spot a problem in that I'm not going to be able to rotate the desk uh, to get it sideways because the ceiling's too low. Uh, so I gotta rethink this and probably do a very unmanly thing and ask for some help. So I've skipped a bit of the build because I had to get some help. Uh, this is definitely not a one man build if you're thinking of getting this kind of desk in your studio, but behold, it is taking shape and it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Not something I've said before. one small little feature of this desk which I really like. Now from the advertising I was concerned these were fixed in place however they're not. We have speaker pads which are movable and they come with the ISO acoustics isolation pucks on the bottom to help minimize vibrations going into the desk which can resonate. This is a really nice little feature. So what was the brief for the new desk? I needed as much rack space as possible, easily accessible from my mix position. Check. This desk has three 4U bays, plenty of space for loads of gear. I needed a keyboard shelf that I could sit under and also stow away neatly when not in use. Check. I also needed the keyboard shelf to be height adjustable so I could get my sidecar with more rack gear in. Check. And I quite fancied getting hold of some cable management strategies because my former desk was a bit of a mess. Underneath the back there is a tray that is housing all of the mad amounts of cabling running all of this IO 500 gear speakers. And there's also a hole in the back of the desk where I can neatly manage all my cabling for the screens, uh, my Mac, my twin, and also, very important, my security chain for the computer. And finally, obviously, probably the most important thing, I needed something that would look good on Instagram because that'll get me more, that'll, that'll get me more, more gigs, won't it? Actually, probably will. So practically, how was this desk to put together? Well, interesting. So I would preface this by saying it's definitely a two-person job to put this together. The instructions are very good, they're very clear. All of the, 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 the wooden dowels and the screws are included and it's, it's reasonably straightforward. Everything is labelled, which is useful. All the parts are labelled, so it's quite clear how to follow that. In terms of some of the parts are quite heavy, some of the boards are quite heavy. I would suggest having two people to help you with that. But in general, you know, if you've done Ikea, you know, I think you've got it covered. Now, what I did notice about this desk, and this took me slightly by surprise, partly because I hadn't 
probably haven't done my research fully, but I would think I was expecting by the look of the desk, something slightly different. I was expecting this to be solid timber and a really beautiful charcoal finished timber. However, it is chipboard, but there is an advantage to that. Chipboard acoustically is better for a desk than timber because it doesn't resonate. If you had a solid timber desk, it would resonate like a drum. You would have low frequencies going all over the desk and therefore over the room. So chipboard is actually better for a studio desk. And the veneer makes it look beautiful. I love how this desk looks and it's really sturdy, hard wearing. It's a very well designed and well built desk. Thank you, Zayor. If you're interested in getting a new studio desk, if you just need a change or fresh inspiration, check out the Zayor Furniture website because they have everything from small mastering consoles to huge bigger desks than this and everything in between. And they're a great company based in Romania and I'm really happy with it. I've been Ed Thorne. Subscribe for mixing tutorials and home studio-based content. And if you want to learn more about 500 series gear, that's coming soon.